Confidence. It all boils down to confidence. And that is the reason why I started the Alpha M YouTube channel in the first place. Because I know what it was like to feel insecure and not good about yourself. I also know the power of confidence. And when you actually find it or achieve it, it's amazing what happens. Every single aspect of your life gets better. But it's impossible to be confident if you are riddled with insecurities. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're confident, you're always super secure in everything you do. No, of course not. We're always going to have insecurities. But at the core of who you are, if you are a confident man, you can achieve anything. Today, guys, I want to share with you some personal stories, things that I have done that have moved the needle in terms of my confidence. These are confidence cheat codes. Number one, I got to get it out of the way. You knew it was coming. Fitness, lifting weights. There is nothing that will change your life, your self-esteem, and your confidence like taking care of yourself physically. When I was 12 years old, I basically escaped to the gym because my self-esteem was in the gutter. I felt horrible about myself. I had a bad home life. I had some abusive stepfathers. But when I went to the gym, I felt like a king. I felt like the man. And this is something that I perpetuated and kept going and doing through my entire life. Because not only what it does for my body, it's what it does to your mind. David Goggins says that exercise calluses the brain. What he means by this is it's not just what happens to you physically. It's the fact that it actually makes your mind stronger. It allows you to endure hardships. It allows you to be confident, self-assured. Gentlemen, work out. If you do nothing else from this video, this is where it starts. Number two is alcohol. When I quit drinking, and the reason I quit drinking was actually to quit a bad habit. Um, this is embarrassing for me to talk about. Honestly, both things are embarrassing. But I used to have a two can a day chewing tobacco habit, and I wanted to quit, right? I knew it was bad for me, it made me feel guilty, and so I decided to quit. Well, one of my triggers was alcohol, and unfortunately at the time, I didn't realize that I had such an unhealthy relationship with alcohol, but bottom line is this, I quit. Quitting a bad habit is one of the most powerful confidence cheat codes you could possibly imagine, right? Whether or not it's the movies, right? Looking at girls or it's drinking, it's drugs, it's alcohol, it's eating bad, it's not exercising. Like if you know that something you're doing is bad, it affects your self-esteem. It also affects your confidence because deep down in the back of your head, you know you shouldn't be doing it. But when you quit, when you finally get it under control, it's something amazing that you have achieved. You feel incredibly confident. You feel strong. You feel like you can accomplish literally anything. And quitting alcohol, guys, 30 days, I challenge you to do it. I promise you something. You're going to feel better, you're going to look better, and your confidence will skyrocket. The next thing I want to talk about is actually the bathmate. Um, you guys have all heard of this. I've done a bunch of videos talking about my PE journey. Um, so for me, once again, something embarrassing about me that I will talk about is uh, I've always been insecure about my size, right? And it's not that I've ever like felt like I was like super like tiny. I was around like six inches, but I wasn't like super thick and I always thought about it. I was always insecure about my size. Now, one of the downsides to watching the movies is that basically it paints an unrealistic expectation of what like normal is for, for dudes, right? You think you gotta be like this and like this in order to basically satisfy a spicy senorita. But regardless, like, and every woman I'd been with had been like, you're fine, you're good, oh, it's great, oh my God, right? But I didn't feel good about things. And so um, I basically wanted to see what the options were in terms of making it bigger. And, um, you know, I went, I did my research, and Bathmate was the company I kept coming back to in terms of a natural way that will actually make you bigger, right? Now, I'm not gonna go into all the nitty gritty, but the bottom line is this. I've used this product now for over like six months, and it has been one of the biggest confidence game changers I can ever, like, I can't even, like, I can't even explain how much more confident I am being the size that I am now. Um, it truly has made a humongous difference, <laughs> pun intended, in not only the size of my junk, but also my confidence. I, like, I'm, I'm big now, like, in terms of, like, thickness, like, that's a thing. And, you know, even though I'm married, it was something that I just, I wanted to do for me. And when I told my wife, I was like, hey, I, I want to do this. She's like, well, if there's something you could do to make you feel better, like, you should do it, right? She's had a boob job. She's had, like, stuff done. She knows. It's about, it's about confidence. It's about self-esteem. And it also doesn't hurt that, like, now, even though she said before that I was good, right, she loves the way that I am now, right? I last longer. I'm bigger. I'm much thicker. And, um, 
it's great. It's been unbelievable in terms of just my confidence, but also, you know, our sex life. And that's the other thing. Like when you feel good about yourself, right? You're confident. That's the thing, you know? A woman wants a guy who's super confident and willing to like just handle business. She also wants a dude that can last longer than like two seconds. And she wants to basically have a dude that she feels good. <laughs> and, um, and that's the thing that this product can do. Guys, I'm gonna link to this product, my landing page down below. Um, the deal is this, they've got three different models, right? They've got the Hydro, they've got the Hydro Max, and then they've got the Hydro Extreme. The Hydro Extreme is the one that I use, but the bottom line is this, they're all awesome, right? But I've tried all three because when I first reached out to the company to place my order, um, they saw my name come across and this guy Mike at the company was like, hey, Alpha M, uh, would you mind if we sent you like a few other models? Because when I ordered it, I ordered this one. I was like, no, send whatever. And so he sent me all three versions. I tried all three versions and what I've concluded is this one is absolutely the best. In terms of my thickness, guys, like before, to like now. I've gained like over like an inch and a half of like girth and thickness. And that's the thing you're gonna basically notice the most. So the reason why this product works so well is because basically what happens is when you use it, it pulls blood into those like two spongy cavernous chambers in Big Al, right? And it fills them up. It fills them up bigger than you normally would. And by doing this time after time after time, it stretches everything out, allows more blood to flow in. And so you literally are growing your junk. It is absolutely unbelievably amazing. It is safe as long as you don't go too fast and it's effective. I've done videos, basically my 30 day, 60 day, 90 day and a warning video about this product. I'm gonna link to it down below. One of the questions though that I see the most on these videos is how do you actually use it? So why don't I show you? So quick little bath made tutorial, all right? So for me, I use the Hydro Extreme. This is the best model that they sell. I tried the other two versions. This one is the one you wanna get because of this little plug it creates a tremendous amount of suction and pressure and it's just awesome gets a ton of blood into Big Al right what you do you're gonna bring it into the shower all right and then all you're gonna do is basically fill up the bath mate with warm water all right once it's filled with water you're gonna put it on Big Al with the ruler side up and then you're going to just start to pump, creating that suction. The suction is actually gonna draw a tremendous amount of blood into Big Al. Anyway, once you've reached the desired suction, once again, remember to start slow. You can hurt yourself. This is not a toy, right? You're gonna wear it for about three to five minutes, right? And then you're gonna take it off for about a minute, rest, and then you're gonna do it again three times. No session should last longer than 15 minutes. But like I said, if you're just getting started, you can start slower, right? You could use it for a minute. Take a minute off, another minute, a minute off, a minute on, right? And work your way up. It's amazing and this thing is truly, I feel like it's changed my life. I wish I had this product earlier when I was younger because like I said, I've always been insecure about my size until I found Bathmate. Now I'm like super confident and I want to show everybody. I'm serious, I like want to show people like, hey, check this out, like, like check out it, right? Anyway, that's weirder. Gentlemen, what's not weird is this product. If there's something you can do to make you more confident, you should do it. Down below, you've got that link. Do not waste this opportunity. Like I said, money back guarantee. This product is the real deal. It is amazing. It is incredible. It has worked for me and it's gonna work for you and your big Al. Next thing that was literally a confidence cheat code was getting my financial house in order. All right, I have always been broke growing up. Like I was on welfare when I was little, like we didn't have a lot of money, right, at all. And um, it was something I was always super insecure about. And then growing up, right, I was trying to be like an entrepreneur. I never made any money, right? And I was always stressed out about money. So the worst part about being broke, it's not just about like not being able to buy things. It's the fact that you feel like a huge loser. Um, and it honestly, it destroys your self-esteem and your confidence. It's really hard to be confident when you can't pay your bills, right? It affects everything. It affects your mindset. It affects your relationship. It affects like literally everything. But when I finally had $5,000 in the bank, that was basically like, like my FU money, right? For the first time in my life, I didn't think about money one day, right? And the next day, same thing happened. It was at this point that everything in my life got better, right? And so I just want to stress to you guys, if you are somebody that is struggling financially, figure it out. If you're somebody who's buying a bunch of shit you don't need, stop. If you're going out to eat all the time, stop. If you got a bunch of high interest credit,
credit card debt. Pay it down, pay it off. Debt is the devil. If it means getting a second job, do it. If it means getting a third job, do it. If it means doing whatever you need to do in order to get out of debt and get yourself on the path of financial freedom, gentlemen, you need to do it. It takes you taking action, it takes you setting a plan, and it takes you sticking to it. But I promise you something, once you finally get your finances under control, even if you're not like killing it yet, you're gonna feel so much better about yourself because you know the stress that you're under thinking about money all the time and always thinking about your bills and interest and all that shit. Gentlemen, being broke is no way to live, so figure it out. And let me just clarify, being broke is no excuse for dressing like shit, which is actually the next thing that will exponentially skyrocket your confidence. That is dressing well. So when I was growing up, like I mentioned, we were poor, I was on welfare and all that stuff. What I would do when I would get a little extra money, like $5 from my grandfather, is go to the thrift store. All right, I would go shopping for clothing because I knew that if I just could find some cool clothes and style them properly, that I would feel a lot better. Gentlemen, it's amazing what happens when you start Start dressing better. Not only are other people going to respect you more, you're going to respect yourself more. You're going to look more confident. You're going to feel more confident. And it literally is like style smoke and mirrors. When you look in the mirror and you see the dude looking back at you that's calm, cool, dressed well, your confidence is going to go through the fucking roof. And the last two things I want to talk about, gentlemen, are very, very, very important. All right. Number one is therapy. All right. I had a lot of issues that I had never dealt with. Right. And it affected me greatly when I finally went to therapy and I actually got myself together and basically dealt with the issues that I had been too scared to face and fight. It was amazing. My confidence went through the roof. I finally felt good about myself and the therapist was there to basically just just basically support me and give me tools and ways to look at things that I hadn't basically had before. It also gave me a third party perspective that I didn't have to worry about. And what I mean by that is I could talk to them honestly and openly about my girlfriend, about my, my mother, about my family, about my stepdads that I felt were abusive. Like I could deal with all of these issues and their only job is to give me actionable advice and also just basically be my support system. It was amazing. When I went to therapy, it allowed me to forgive myself along with other people. It didn't mean I forgot, but I was able to move past it and truly be happy and confident. And the last thing is friends, right? You got to understand that who you surround yourself with is indicative of how you feel about yourself. If you're surrounded by losers, you're going to feel like a loser. When you ditch the losers, the mooches, the toxic people, the people that don't have your best interest in mind, you're going to be amazed at how much better and more confident you feel about yourself. It's amazing, but it's hard. I warn you, it is hard because unfortunately, a lot of times we get addicted to these toxic people. But when you identify one, if you identify that your friends are losers and aren't going in the right direction, if you identify that that a parent, a family member is bringing you down and not lifting you up. It doesn't mean you can avoid them 100%, but you need to put up a wall. You need to protect yourself. Part of it could be therapy. Part of it could be working out. Part of it could be these other things that we talked about. But the bottom line is this. You deserve to feel amazing about yourself. And when you're confident, anything and everything is possible.